And you also want this clarity, please read. I, everybody needs to read and watch Adolf Reed. Agree, disagree, whatever. I happen to agree with most of what he says. He's a brilliant analyst. And uh, this is a clip from an interview he just did with Nathan Robinson. Hopefully we'll have him on again soon. This is Adolf Reed. Everybody read class notes. It holds up. It holds up. It holds up. Also, 1996 piece that he wrote that predicted Obama is hysterical. Have you guys ever read that? He literally, well, we'll, we'll find that. But first, this is Adolf Reed with uh, Nathan Robinson. When, when, when the political situation is absolutely hopeless, right? I mean, there mm -hmm. are such moments, and that's, that's when um, you assassinate the fascist judge, right? Or, 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 or uh, make a, um, you know, flip the bird to the eagle that's coming down, down on you. Uh, but, but I don't want to rush to that moment, right? There's nothing mm -hmm. beautiful about that, that, right. that moment. And, 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 and I've said in a number of places that, that, um, that, that, that my approach to politics in that sense is, is like how they teach kids to play the outfield mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in, in, in the Little League Baseball, where on a deep fly, fly ball, you go to the wall first and feel for the wall and then come, come back in to, to the ball. So you imagine the worst possible thing that can happen and figure out how you would adjust to that, mm -hmm. right? Instead of, I mean, looking for um, a fantasy to get you through the night, because to me, I mean, that just feels like a dilettantish way, way, way to do politics, because you're not really committed to winning anything, and there are no stakes for you, right? Like when, but um, I mean, I have a friend who um, who uh, organized in uh, near Brazil under the dictatorship and the underground, right? I, I mean, there were stakes in politics then, right? I mean. Um, for most of the people who read and and engage in debates in the nation and in Jacobin and places like like that, the politics has no stakes. Uh, but so, and then and and then I have to admit this too, and like this is a safe town to admit it in. But but the politics of um, performance of of individual righteousness. Just, mm -hmm. just has always seemed distastefully Protestant to me. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like... <laughs> Hundred and million percent nailing it um, in every way, shape, and form. We'll talk more about that religiosity and rejecting purity politics for solidarity and winning. Um, and he was this powerful critic of foundation and NGO liberalism, which he saw reifying capitalism under Clintonism um, and was so, dis you know, he talks about how after Reagan, he became more concessionary to the Democratic Party. He's always been, he's a socialist Marxist. And then after Clinton came, he reverted back because of the obscenity of the Clinton years. I just have to read this. This is literally a piece he wrote in 1996. In Chicago, for instance, this is Adolf Reed. And I warn, I mean, look, I, I, I think I have different perceptions of Obama, but this is a, I mean, 1996. In Chicago, for instance, we've gotten a foretaste of the new breed of foundation hatched black communitarian voices. One of them, a smooth Harvard lawyer with impeccable do good credentials and a vacuous to repressive neoliberal politics, has won a state Senate seat on, in, on a base mainly in the liberal foundation and development worlds. His fundamentally bootstrap line was softened by a patina of rhetoric of the authentic community, talking about meaning in kitchens and small-scale solutions to social problems and the predictable elevation of process over program. The point where identity politics converges with good old good old-fashioned middle-class reform in favor of in favor of form over substance. I suspect that his ilk is the wave of the future in US black politics here as it is in Haiti and wherever the International Monetary Fund has sway. So far, the black activist response hasn't been up to the challenge. We have to do better. Yeah. Adolf Reed is, that's, I mean, last week the uh, Alexander Coburn, Joe Biden quote was perfect, but this is almost, I mean, and he talks more about that quote uh, in the Nathan Robinson interview. Uh, and really, 
was so br also uh, Reed Adolph reads uh, one of his most delicious reviews is of the bell curve. Um, Damn. Yes, brilliant. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com/slash/tmbs. Thanks everybody.